What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and I'm on a solo mission today on the kayak again and look at the conditions. I was going to take a break today and just rest but I looked at the conditions last night and it said flat and it literally is flat right now. So I was like alright you know what I'm going to go out there and also a subscriber told me that she caught more than 20 squid. So I'm back trying to go for squid again, but we'll see what happens. But the main goal is squid, a lot of squid, and then maybe a halibut or two. All right. So I see some boats out in the distance over there. There's about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those boats might be collecting squid. And if there's that many boats out there, there's a lot of squid. So I'm going to head over there. Well, at least try to. It's a little far. And I see some good marks that look like maybe, maybe squid. And I keep dropping down, but I haven't gotten anything. So I'm just gonna go, just gonna go to the boats. All right, I think you can see those boats now. Look how many are just uh, concentrated right here. I think they're going after squid. Or at least I hope so. But we're about to find out. Look at the fish finder. Bunch of little tiny dots on there. I think that's squid. Just a regular sabiki rig for now. And if it is squid, then I'll switch to my squid jig. The little squid slayer. So calm out here. I'm not getting anything here. Let me go up a little more. Closer to the boats. All right, now I'm literally one of the boats. See, these are all commercial boats in front of me right here. Let me try here. Sabiki going down. I think I got one. baby ah! yes I got one they're here heck yeah first one all right well that was pretty quick this time so you know what I think I'm gonna switch up to my squid jig my squid sabiki my squid sabiki I think I have a link for this too they put like a hundred pound test on here <laughs> all right so that was all the way pretty much at the bottom cranked up just a few times and just jigging close to the bottom up and down and there it was yes yes get to have squid catch and cook got one yes it's nice because you have the cooler in the back and then just drop them in, put them upside down, and they'll come right off, right into the cooler. Yes. All right. That's two. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yes. Yes. I'm in the spot right here for sure. Oh, I got him right away. Oh, right away. Wait, this one is... Oh, is this a squid? Maybe it's multiple squid. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh, there's two on there. That's why. Yes. My cooler's looking good. Oh, this is way better than last time. I want to get at least 20, if not more. Because I could probably 50. There's no limit on squid. We got squid, hell yeah. Found them. Squid, I don't mind harvesting a bunch because I can freeze them for later, eat them. I can even use them for bait, perfect bait for anything. Um, and I'm gonna eat a bunch of them. So according to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch, squid is one of the most sustainable things. Uh, this kind of squid at least. Market squid from California. Very sustainable, 
abundant. This is not really anything. All on the bottom here, that right there, that's the squid. That right there, right at 100 feet on the bottom, that's the squid. Yes! Wait for him to squirt. <laughs> All right, let's go back down. All of these commercial boats coming out here right now. Look at them. Pretty sure they're on their way to get these squid too. So far, I've caught about 12 squid. The goal is 30. There we go, I think there's one. They're always on the bottom one. Oh, these squid jigs are perfect. You can just catch them, toss them in, straight back down. There we go. There's, ooh, that's a good one. Might be two on here. Oh, it's just one. Whoa. That's 11.05, all right. Maybe at 12, I'll stop fishing for squid. Oh, there we go, right away. Oh, I got two here. Two small ones. Check out how big this one is that I just caught. Nice one. That's a good one right there. Ow, ow, you mother. He bit me. Freaking bit me. <laughs> wow. But that's a big one. All right, I'm gonna catch more. <laughs> Freaking bit me. Well, I definitely got more than 30 now. Maybe close to 40 even. Right in this spot, every drop. Watch right here, I just went to the bottom right now. Oh, see, right away. Right away, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. There you go. One of the reasons that make them sustainable is because they have such a short lifespan. Normally things that have short lifespan are very sustainable. Um, like squid and even octopus. Octopus only live two to four years. Because they have that short lifespan, they would, you know, their life cycle is quick. I can't catch anymore. All right, I guess we're heading in. Well, I trolled for halibut just on the way in and Got a couple nice rockfish, but I'll put them back. I got enough for today. I got probably a little over 50 squid. So I'm excited about that. Um, so now I'm gonna head in and we'll go cook the squid. Catch and cook squid. Let's do this. All right, so I brought these squid back and now we're ready to cook them. I'm gonna prepare them three different ways. One of them is gonna be grilled. The other one is gonna be raw with a little bit of a, a sauce on it. And the last one is gonna be fried, all right? And we're gonna make a special batter for that. Let me show you first how I uh, prepare these squid. So these are some of the bigger ones right here. Uh, I think these four. And we're gonna use that for grilling. And the other ones, I'm gonna cut them up into rings so I can use them for fried calamari and uh, the raw dish as well. So I want to make rings, yeah? So I need to keep this tube perfect. So the first thing you need to do, they have that, that feather that uh, sticks out right there. With my knife, just gonna go under it and just disconnect. Now I'm gonna run my finger all the way down and disconnect it and I should be able to pull out the whole entire thing. There you go. So. That's it right there. So we don't need that. And then we don't need uh, from right about there. And then this is all edible, except for the eyes and the beak. So we're gonna take those out as well. Open them up and you can see that, right? You can see that right there. And then I'm just gonna use these tweezers to take that beak out, that right there. So the eyes, you have to actually puncture them both of them and then you'll be able to actually remove it and then you, and then you just wash it off and uh, the, the rest is edible see how it comes out like that I think uh, if you're frying it I think it it's optional but if you're doing anything else like eating it raw or uh, anything like that I would take the skin off and all you have to do is just run your knife down and it'll come off like that and you're just going to peel that off. You know, you have a nice, clean, 
white tube, perfect for anything. Cut them and slice them up. For fried ones, I like to make them actually more thick, like th maybe even like that. So that's how you get those uh, calamari rings. If I'm frying it, I like to fry this whole entire thing. Um, so we could just leave it just like that. But if I'm eating it raw, this is a little too big, so we'll cut them, we'll slice them up and do the, take some of these tentacles off. So there are individual tentacles here. So this is all good to eat like this. Um, but yeah, you're gonna do that to all of them, except for the big ones that we're gonna grill. All right, so I have four squid that I'm gonna grill. Two of them, I'm gonna just do salt. Just sea salt. The other two, we're gonna uh, soy sauce. All right, so now I'm gonna just throw these guys on. And the raw dish is gonna be really good. Let me show you the sauce I'm gonna make for it. Sauce is gonna use these ingredients. The main ingredient is gonna be this Saikyo miso. That's the, it's a type of miso. It's a little sweeter, a little lighter in flavor than regular miso. So this one is karashi, it's Japanese mustard. This is sake, sake of course, you know, cause we wanna get drunk. <laughs> Just kidding. This is mirin, sweet cooking wine. So we're gonna mix all these up. Squid is grilling nicely over here. I'm gonna turn it in a minute. All right, nice big spoonful of Saikyo Miso. See how thick that is? Okay, Karashi, little squeeze of it, just like that. And we have the Mirin, uh, let's see, One, two. just a little bit. And also Sake, just a little bit as well. Now we're gonna mix that up and make a sauce. Let's flip this guy. I love grilled squid. Mm. Grilled squid's gonna be so good. Just taste. Mm. Oh. That's good. A nice little kick with the sake. I have pear, Asian pear, and also an apple, Fiji apple. Thin slices. Throw those in there some tentacles in there and I cut some of them smaller and the smaller ones are supposed to uh, meant for the uh, for the raw if you want to try this dish but you don't have fresh squid you can also steam the squid just real quick uh, just so it's almost fully cooked and then you can uh, you can make this exact dish and it's still gonna be really good so that's all the squid I'm gonna put in there and we're gonna mix this up check it out All right, that's pretty much dish number one. Let me just give it a quick taste and see if it needs anything. Oh, that's so good. Um, let's see. Maybe just a tiny bit of salt. First squid is done. Take these guys off. Oh, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna put these guys on the soy sauce mm, look at that. tentacles should be about done
I want to make a little batter for the fried calamari. Some flour here. Here's a recipe I used to make when I was in college. Sriracha batter calamari. <laughs> Takes me back to the college days. Trust me, it's super good. It's really good. A little bit of water. A little more sriracha. There you go. All right, so first, put it in that sriracha batter, then put it on the flour. Then toss it in like this. Should turn out nice, just like this one. So these ones, I put it in uh, just with the batter, no flour. Obviously, look, this one turns out much better. So, batter first, then flour. And take it out, it should be nice like that. Cool. Yeah. So technically, squid four ways. Grill two different ways, just with salt and with soy sauce. Sriracha battered fried calamari. And this is the raw preparation with Saikyo Miso, Asian pear, and Fiji apples. This one is super good. I mean, everything's gonna be delicious, but I think my favorite is gonna be that raw one. Um, and we also have the grilled squid. We'll pair it with a little bit of ponzu. That's really nice with some ponzu and a couple lemon wedges for the calamari. We got a little cider today. The glass or the bottle? I think the bottle, I guess. Cheers. <laughs> now they don't know what this is. <laughs> mm, pretty good. Mm. Here we go. Uh huh. We're gonna try that. Mm. That's the stuff. Squid is so creamy. Mm -hmm. The squid has this amazing creaminess and then the pear and the apple gives it a nice snap to it. A little freshness in there. And what do you think of the miso? Mm, miso's good. What gives it the little kick? It was karashi, the oh. mustard. It was the mustard. Check that out. I think I'll try the fried one next. Mm, mm, mm. You can taste a little bit of that mu Japanese mustard, but uh, not too much. I could put a little more next time. Fried calamari. Everybody loves fried calamari. A little lemon juice. Yeah. Let me just eat this one. Mm. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sriracha batter. <laughs> you get a nice. Um, it's not spicy or anything. Mm -mm. You can put like a. You can put like a little more extra sriracha on the side, mm -hmm. even you know. You could put some sriracha right there, but this is uh pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Still tastes good to me. Mm. Let's try this. Grilled squid. This is gonna be delicious. I love the tentacles when it's grilled. Alright, let's try Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm. Wow, grilled is so good. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about that soy sauce and that char flavor mm -hmm. combined together that brings out. It's it's so good. It, I love the tentacles and I love the top that the top part too 
Those are my two favorite parts on the squid. Mm. The one just with the salt. Uh, lemon juice. Oh, I got it in my eye. <laughs> oh, lemon juice. We could put some ponzu on too. Oh, ponzu. Right here. Oh. Yeah, dip it, dip it. Mm. That's good, like that? Mm-hmm. Curl squid with a little ponzu. Can't go wrong with that either. Let me know in the comments which one of these dishes will be your favorite. Which one's your favorite? Mm, it's hard. Mm. Let me try this one again. I think this is the one. I think that's the one, the raw preparation. Mm -hmm. For me, you can't beat raw squid. So this is going to be my favorite preparation, the raw squid with that Saikyo miso. And after that, grilled squid is also amazing. So I'm going to go with number two with the grilled squid and then number three, the fried calamari. How about you? This one with the mustard on the side because I really like the kick. Mm -hmm. it's my nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, guys. If you like this episode, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. You know, I didn't finish my beer. Yeah, it's a small one, too. Or cider. It's not beer, it's cider. Mm.